Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to discuss about circumpolar bodies and conditions necessary for it. So, what do you understand by the word circumpolar? So, it literally means making circles around the poles. And you can define the circumpolar bodies as the bodies whose circular motion around the poles are visible to us. Or you can say that a body is a circumpolar if the body is always above the rational horizon, which means that the body should not set. And now we will see the conditions for a body to be circumpolar. Let's assume the observer's latitude is 40 degree north. And in this picture, you can see NP is the altitude of the pole, which is equal to the latitude of the observer. Here, in this picture, we have three celestial bodies, 1, 2 and 3. Body number 1 and 2 are not circumpolar because they set. And the body number 3 is circumpolar. Here comes the first condition to for a body to be circumpolar. Any body with declination opposite to that of the latitude cannot be circumpolar. Here the body number 1 declination is opposite to that of latitude of the observer. Now comes the second condition. For a body to be circumpolar, the polar distance should be less than or equal to NP. Here Px is the polar distance should be less than or equals to NP. NP is the latitude. Now polar distance is equals to 90 degree minus declination and NP is equals to latitude which implies 90 degree minus declination should be less than or equals to the latitude. If we put latitude on other side, latitude plus declination should be greater than 90 degree. So this is the second condition for a body to be circumpolar. So finally we have two conditions for a body to be circumpolar. First is the latitude and declination should be of the same name. And second condition latitude plus declination should be greater than or equals to 90 degree. So this much is important from the topic of circumpolar bodies and hope you have liked it. Thank you.